Oliver, Lex loves the phrase unlock value. Like there's a little box somewhere that you flip open and the value comes hissing out. Reckitt Benkiser is doing a classic value releasing move by splitting itself off and spinning off one of its pharmaceutical products to its investors. Is the box going to get opened in this case? I don't think so. It's, uh, as you say, it's demerging, it's splitting off its uh, pharmaceuticals business uh, into a much smaller company. But I can't see that this move, which they've confirmed today and which will complete by the end of the year, I can't see it creating a lot of value. If you look at what the two parts of the business might be valued at, the sort of steady, slowly growing uh, consumer goods business and the, the much smaller but declining pharmaceuticals business, you add them all together and I can't get to anything more than the, the current market capitalization. So what are the prospects for the new business, uh, best case scenario for the new business? So the new business, which is going to be called Indivior, another genius of the, of the marketing companies, I think, but it has a, an opiate treatment. It, treats, it has a product that treats drug, drug addiction, but it's come off patent, so mm. now there's a lot of generic competition coming in. It's formulated this product now into a film that you put on your tongue, and, and that's still under protection, so there's still some revenues coming through. Now, the hopes here, I, I guess there's a few. First, that it'll find a new way of, of creating its product that, that'll be under patent for even longer. Second, that it will move into treatments for other addictions, perhaps uh, cocaine or alcohol. Or finally, that the whole thing might get bought. Both of the possibilities you mention entail a fair amount of risk, however. Some com companies have successfully reformulated their products, but sometimes it just doesn't work. And investment in R&D or buying new products is a risky game as well. Given that, and given the fact, as you say, that on reasonable valuations this won't cre create a lot of value, why bother? Why not either keep it in-house or sell it to another drug company? Well, I guess there's a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, Reckitt, I think, wants to create a nice, clean investment case around its consumer products business, mm -hmm. increasingly focused on health and hygiene, and they're doing pretty well there. They're growing faster than a lot of other fast-moving consumer goods companies. So Reckitt, I think, wants a cleaner investment case without this declining pharma business mm -hmm. sitting at the side. It'll make that easier. Um, also, potentially, it, it will help to find a buyer for this. It's been non-core for some time. Reckitt clearly hasn't sold it. That's why it's demerging it. But once it's floated on the stock market, there will be a valuation for potential buyers to look at. So it might get taken out over time. We'll watch for that, Oliver. Thanks.